people have been hoodwinked and, and sort of indoctrinated. The lies they tell the local people, there'll be more gas and more jobs. Neither is true. The main goal was always to disrupt Quadrilla as much as possible. Um, this is about, you know, economically disrupting the fracking industry. The local people here said no to fracking, um, the county council said no, and the government overturned that decision. And they've gone through all the different processes you're supposed to go to to make this thing not happen, and all that's been left is direct action. I thought the police were particularly brutal this morning. Actually, there were punches going in, people really being thrown around. What are all these police doing here, deployed just for this, to protect one corporation's business interests? That is somebody's hair that they've just pulled out. That is some lady's hair that just ripped out of their head. We've got someone locked on, even though there's a massive, heavy police presence today. just got a lock-on inside a van with a massive barrel of concrete, so they're locked onto the concrete which in, is in the back of a van, um, so it's going to take the police a little while to get them out um, and moving the, along. As a network of people that are skilled in direct action, we wanted to come here, help shut the site down every day and really like build momentum of what's already been a, a six year long campaign by the local people and an incredible six months of direct action from protection camps and also from local people as well. And reclaim the power, did some marvellous stunts and did work hard and, and brought a wonderful spirit. So that all of that was good.